Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm going to teach you how to use OBS Studio Full Beginner's Tutorial 2024. And right now, I'm currently opening OBS as you can see right here. We're doing this real time, okay? So I'm taking right now with real action, real time tutorial with OBS or OBS. Some people call it OBS. Now, as you can see right here, it currently says stop recording because I'm taking this or generating this one live recording. Now, the first thing you will notice is everything I do on my desktop right now is mirroring inside OBS. And there is a lot of things going on right now, right? You'll see the screen on OBS. It's pretty mirror. It's mirroring infinite because it's just a screen. Now, please don't be overwhelmed. That's my first tip for you. I'm going to take you step by step here. Now, the thing you'll notice is this section is right here. We have scenes, we have sources, we have audio mixer, scene transition, and controls. Now before, OBS is a free application with a lot of features available. Right now, for 2024, up to date, there are some features not yet fully utilized for the public because some of them had become private or paid for subscription features. Anyway, I'll fully utilize the available features for you. So the first thing I'm going to take you right now is this thing called scenes. So basically we have two scenes right here. As you can see, they're just basically two timelines altogether. If you're familiar with editing, if not, just think of them as pages. This is page one of your Word document. This is page two of your Word document. Now, if you want to add a scene, simply click on that plus icon right there, name the scene and simply click on OK. And that is how, how to add a scene. You can delete the scene with this option right here, change the scene with that option right there. No problem at all. Now this is open scene filters. These are just for filters for more aesthetic looking. Next up for scenes, we have sources. So there are a lot of sources to go with this one. Some of them are case to case basis. Some of them are for Windows. Some of them are for MacBooks. Now, as you can see right here, I have audio output capture. I have display capture. So these are pretty important tools. Specifically, I'm currently recording as of now. That's why I have display capture and audio capture. However, this is for output because the one I'm using right now for audio is called Audacity. That is going to be another example or another video for you. Anyway, that being said, to add the sources, think of them as your USB or your flash drive. You need an outsource or source material to enable your video, your audio, or your image, or background. Think of them as your material to use on your Canva. Basically, that's it. Now, to add the sources, simply click on the plus icon, and you'll see a lot of sources here. This one, Application Audio Capture, is still on beta phase. I think this is for pay subscription, so you can have a joining waitlist. And then we have Audio Input Capture. For audio input capture, this is basically the mic inside OBS. So it has its own application to capture voices. Just make sure you have audio input capture enabled. We have audio output. Basically, that's the one I'm using right now. We have browser. Color source is basically coloring what inside your desktop. Display capture. This is the one I'm using right now, the one you're seeing. And game capture. Now, we might get confused. We have two captures, actually we have three or four right there. However, for game capture, this is automatically being recorded on whatever game you're opening up. How come if you're opening up Valorant or um, Call of Duty, use this one to automatically apply Call of Duty inside OBS. You don't have to manually apply it on your filters, on your settings. Simply click on game capture and OBS will automatically read whatever game you're going on the background. To simply enable that one, simply click on Game Capture right here, name it, or add existing. Make source visible, simply click on OK and you'll be good to go. Now for some reason you want to enable Window Capture, because I want to take this opportunity to explain the difference of Window and Display. So Display is the main thing going on, you can hide anything here. However, window, you can only mirror or share some specific tabs you're opening. For example, if I click on window capture right here, I choose or name it window capture 2 and click on OK right now. 
it's gonna ask me which kind of windows I'm gonna capture. Is it gonna be mouse or this one right here? And that mouse right now is the application opening it up, which I have on my cursor. So with that being said, that is window capture for you. So I'm just gonna remove this one so we don't have to keep them. Anyway, with that being said, next up, since we skipped this one, let's go back. We have this thing called image. If I click on image, I click on OK. It will ask me to choose an image. Let's try choosing an image right now. I have a lot of image going on. I think I'm going to go with this guy right here. So right now you'll, you're seeing this guy because it's going to showing up on your screen. It's pretty awesome, right? That is the image tool for you. So I can have an option to remove this one. I can just simply click on cancel and I'm back here. But you'll see right there, there is still an image capture here, right? The idea here is that if I click on the eye icon, it will not be visible anymore. If I click on the audio capture eye icon, it will not capture any audio on my end. If I click on that one, it has been removed the display capture. That is the slight delay regarding the screen. It went black, remember, for a second right there because I removed the eye icon right there. Now, that being said, if I click on the plus icon one more time and check on the sources here, I think image slideshow is for paid subscription. For this one, it just gives you an option to create a slideshow inside your recording. Media source, if you click on media source right now, click on OK. It will look for local file. For example, if you have an audio, your video, a PDF, a Microsoft Word, or a PowerPoint presentation, you can load it up right there. Basically, it's the same thing as image source. That is also for paid subscription, by the way. Next up, scene is basically adding sceneries on your OBS. This is also for paid subscription. Text, it's just adding text on your screen. Think of it as paint or Canva. You can add text with it one. Video capture device. Now, this one is for webcam purposes only. And right now, since I don't have a webcam, I can't really show you, but if you click on that one, it will ask you to capture a device that is available on your computer. It will automatically read it. No problem at all. Now we have done with the sources. If you click on settings right here, you can check the settings of each sources. Let's move on with audio mixer. For audio mixer, basically you can lower the volume, adjust the decibels, the frequency, the tone of your voice. This is specifically important when you're using the input audio of OBS. But if you're not using them much as the one I'm using right now, because I'm using another application, it's not really going to matter with this one. But just for the sake of discussion, for example, you have desktop audio right there. You have media source volume, mic volume. If I add that game capture right here, just for discussion purposes, you will capture this one. I have it right here. I have another line for game capture. Make sure you check on that one out. And next one, scenes or scenes transitions. This will be a bit more understanding or I can explain it more properly when I move on with studio. Anyway, you can just simply click on apply. You can choose wipe, slide, stinger, fade the color or luma wipe. Basically, those are transitions. Now, let's move on with this button right here. We have start streaming. Streaming is basically recording, but you have an output device that you're showing it. Maybe a platform for Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, you name it. Basically, just click on this button right there. However, before you can stream, you need to have connected with a key inside YouTube. And with that, you can access that one with the settings on this options right here. If I click on settings and click on stream, select a device, maybe YouTube, Twitch, Facebook Live, Twitter, and then connect account key or use team key option right there. For video, make sure you have 1920 to 1080. That is the best option for you. For audio, this is not really uh, applicable for my end because I'm using a third party application, but I suggest making sure this is the one you're using. For example, on my end, I have a lot of output here or input. Make sure specify which the one you're using. Don't let it be on default. Next up, video. Hotkeys, we have hotkeys right here for shortcuts. 
accessibility advanced settings right there and with that being said these are the settings you want to check them we have sources enable browser storage hardware acceleration make sure this is enabled this helps you make it more smoother and faster regarding your stream or record now since this is almost done here regarding settings we can now simply click on apply and click on ok if you have any changes so we have a lot of settings here so please check them out let me just click on cancel perfect now that being said since we're almost done here i want to share with you guys 2d mode right now but we, before we get into that almost forgot virtual camera is basically a webcam you can click on this one and enable webcam much as like the game or the display capture device basically they're the same thing so studio mode let's get on this right now a disclaimer you cannot use 2d mode or you cannot utilize 2d mode if you don't have another scene make sure you have one scene working so make sure you click on studio mode right now and here it is you're seeing two scenes right now right so scene one and scene two is right here so for scene two for example i want window capture for example i want to play for window capture, let me just say this Filmora, the one I'm using right now. Click on OK. And I can adjust whatever I'm seeing here for window capture. This is just a cursor, just for discussion purposes. And then let's just say I want the transition, the one working right now for preview. If I click on transition right now, it will go on the right side. Basically, you can change in an instant. For example, on the left side, you have another thing going on you have a different background that's going on just simply click on one button right there you'll change your background you'll change your device everything will be changed think of it as letter a and letter b being intertwined all together you can change your transitions and that is what i'm talking about earlier this is the part where you can utilize your transition may it be fade you can click on transitions right now the fade is pretty awesome fade to back with that or just simply click on fade pretty awesome right so to fully utilize the studio mode i suggest to subscribe with the obs subscription to unlock all the features because right now i only have these sources but with the full subscription you'll have background you'll have image you can edit whatever you're going on here so please take note about that one Anyway, that is the basics for beginners in OBS. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.